Hello, hello, hello. It's Tracy and Bill from Gift Basket Appeal. And we are live right now. Just wanted to see how y'all were doing and share some cards. So how's everyone doing? Can you hear me okay? And can you see us okay? I think the lighting in the room is great right now. So we're just kind of hooking this up to the TV so we can see everybody. Hey, Tasha, how are y'all doing? Is that Tasha L? Yep. We were not sure if we'd be coming on live. We were just not sure yet, so, but we, we made it. <laughs> we had a few things to do today, so we just weren't sure if we would be coming on. Farmer Marquis says, looks and sounds good. Missed y'all. Oh, I missed, we missed y'all too. We missed y'all too. Roxanne Marlowe, Robin Renninger, Alicia Freeman. Of course, Ron Marquis. <laughs> How are Margie you Ryan. How's everyone doing today? I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Tasha. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Um, I hope you make it a great day. Yep, we are doing good. We had a busy, busy week, and the week hasn't ended yet, but we wanted to come on live and just kind of... Uh, chit chat with y'all and Bill wanted to share some cards. I think this card is really funny. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Angela is here. Thank you, Angela, for all the Mother's Day wishes. Happy Saturday, Galen. Sabrina's Two Sweet Creations. Yvette Daniels. Hey, everyone. Galen Wim. Yep. So, yeah, we're just kind of, Bill wanted to share his cards. <laughs> I did. So, Bill, go ahead and... and uh... I'll go ahead and get started. Now, this card is from Fathima. I hope I said it right. But it's an excellent birthday card. Look at this cute little old man here. Hope that's not me, but anyway. <laughs> With the cake, uh... that part probably would be me, but... Uh... Isn't that adorable? Happy birthday. You know you're old when... Your ears are hairier than your head. <laughs> I feel that, actually. There you go. Hair grows everywhere but the head, look like nose, <laughs> ears, all kind of stuff, okay? Isn't that a That's excellent. Look at the technique. White base, black. See, everything layers, circles. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a very, very well put together mask card. shapes. I like that. The that's sentiment it. is real funny, too. That's excellent. And look, he, they're carrying, what are they carrying? A piece of cake? Yes. Mm hmm and So, yep, Bill's getting his cards in. Piece of Christian. Oh, um, Linda Jones says, it's a stormy day. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, and Tasha L. says, do we have any new stamp sets coming out anytime soon? Uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. We're waiting right now. Exactly. So we're hoping that they're in within the next uh at least we can have, so we'll yeah, see them. Possibly. But we'll keep you we'll keep you posted. Now check this out. This card I don't know who it's from. Um it is it no, I, I can't oh. read the name. Okay, let me see that. Let's see. Uh, oh, that's Sher Sherry Klein or Sherry, Sherry Klein. Klein. Now, look at this. Sherry Happy Klein. birthday, Bill. Incredible butterfly. Real simple. I love this. Straightforward to the point. And look right here. We're not getting old. We're getting awesome. Exactly. That's exactly how I feel. There you go. That's a beautiful card. Is that on the TV supposed to be moving? Or is it supposed to be still like that? Just asking. Just finding out. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, we were looking at the TV and trying to okay, do this at the same time. Last. Yeah. Okay. Yep, so I think you might want to go ahead and mute that. Okay, go ahead, babe. That is from 
This is from Shelly Faber. Shelly Faber, look at this card here. She has the bill. I love I wish what I could she see what that, that looks like. Look at all these layers and the notes. This feels like tissue paper. I think all of it is. Look at this right here. <laughs> Isn't see that the beautiful? colors. Look at it. Look, it. This one fell off. It was a rule of thirds. I put one back on for you. <laughs> right here, best wishes being sent to you as you celebrate your 60th birthday. Man, that sounds old. <laughs> but anyway, you bring laughter into so many lives. Thank you very much. Oh, Isn't that beautiful, thanks, girl? Shelly. Now this card is from. Oh, that's pretty. Denise Glisson. Oh, Denise Glisson. Look at this. <laughs> I love this card. The little I, monkeys I'm in love here. With that. that is so. And yeah, the cute. cake. Look at the layers, and the bird and the balloons right here. See how the colors all play off on I each love other? That. That's our paper. Too. And look at the string right here. That's an excellent idea right there. Look at that, Trace. That's a good idea. She used the birthday stamp set. Exactly. Look at the icing. That looks so fun. Happy birthday. Have a great day. She even put the balloons inside. In. She fussy cut that out, and it looks absolutely awesome. Thank you, Denise Glisson. Oh, Lisa Christian says, Bill, I am working on your card. Hope to mail it out. Early next Thank week. Thank you, Lisa Christian. I mailed. We got your other card. I mailed Ariel's card on Tuesday. You know, we got that card. We're just waiting for her schedule to calm down a little bit so she can, so she can open be her home. card. Now, this next card is from Tom and Jerry Reed. Look at this right here. It I says, Happy Birthday. The, I love all the different um, designs, don't you, babe? I do too. Look at the front right here. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that awesome? Happy birthday. You guys know I love notes. So <laughs> Everybody knows you love music. Look at that. Real simple. Straightforward to the point. Oh, look at a cake pop. Where? Right here. That's, well, there you go. That's, that's what that's called. With the little icing on right, it. Right, then right here. It's happy birthday on the back. And she put it on here. Just a quick card to say happy birthday. Thanks Aww. for all you do. Thank you, Jerry Reed. Thank you to all of you. This is beautiful. You. Okay, you notice how one. all of them are completely different. Yes. The other. That's from who? This Hulu. is from Ms. M. K. K. C. A. V. E. Okay. I think I got the name right. Oh, this is Maxine Cave. Oh, Maxine. Okay. From the University of Kentucky. <laughs> That's what she says, too. She says, No, from That's the UK. The United Kingdom. Right. <laughs> UK. Now, here it is. Happy birthday. Look at these lovely layers. Look how the colors all play off of each other. I love that level of creativity and the dimension. Humpers. Ooh, I can open this too. Celebrate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. With love. Yeah, hold it flat so they can really take a look at that. Oh, it's got an easel on it. Look at this, babe. Oh, man. So you can I can stand it up it... just like that. Genius. Maxine K. What a good idea. She says, that's what we do in the, in the U UK. Uh, Robin McKenzie says, hello, Tracy and Bill. Happy Mother's Day to Tracy. I want to thank you for my stamps. Receive them and love them so much. I can't, I can't thank you enough. Happy birthday, Bill. Natasha L. That's from Robin. Right. She said, happy birthday. Robin McKenzie, okay. Let me go back because there's a couple of comments. <laughs> Jean said, Jean Coelho said, Hey, don't make jokes about being 60. I turned 66 on Thursday. Exactly. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to tell you when, when, when the age thing started really hitting me. I turned 35. God forbid if I can only go back. But then I turned 35. I'm walking through the mall. And this lady came up to me. She says, hey, you want to do a survey? I said, uh, yeah, I'll do the survey. And she happened to say, are you between the age of this and this, 25 and 34? Then she said, 35 and 50? I said, wait, 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 wait one minute. I said, where can it be 25 to 35 and 36 to 50? I just did not like the thought of being included in an age that had 60 in it. Excuse me, 50 in it. Oh, well, welcome to my world. <laughs> well, I can go back now and be happy. So. Ah. Now, this next one is from Teresa Nafong. Oh, look at this right here, Tracy. 
Oh, Mr. my Potato goodness. Head. I love that. Isn't this that is great? an ongoing joke about Mr. Potato Head. It's a good one. <laughs> and she sent little birthday oh, things. Oh, you got like a little birthday, happy birthday. Oh, I love this Mr. Potato Head. Because everyone knows who I thought that was. I like that. It's an excellent. Let's shake that out. Yeah, that, you got confetti, babe. I can use that. You put confetti. But I'm going to use that. You know what? You sure can use that. Exactly. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Teresa. We'll put this right from here. From Teresa. And this is from. Oh, you know what? Crafting gal Sal Paper Crafts and Such says, Bill, my dad, hubby, and daughter all have May birthdays. You are all wonderful people. My sister's birthday is in May, too. Now, this right here is from someone. Let's see. This Janet, Janet Dolan. Yep, Janet. Says, have a wonderful day. Look at this. Look how she, ooh, oh, if you I feel like it, that. feel that, right? Oh, wow. She did something to it. What a nice way to add texture. Look at this little string. I love that. With little, little butterflies. butterflies. And you open up and it's a little personal sentiment right here. <laughs> this is excellent. Thank you, Janet. Look at this right here. It looks like a little, like the little stitching, but it, it was made out of lines. That really looks like stitching. I like that. And stitching like that with the lines yeah, like that. Around I love the that. Wow. Thank you, Janet, so, so much. So creative. This is okay. from... Look at that. That is from... Oh, that's Joanne, Joanne Gilbertson. Gilbertson. Oh, look at this. She has the layered thing back here. The card. Look at this. The white base. She uses she used dots for her stitching. You notice how people yeah. are using different techniques. I love that. But the effect is still awesome. It really and is. And right here, too. In here. And if you look on the star, she has little things right there, too. Oh, Ron says, are we going to string up the cards in the house? The cards are everywhere, right? They're everywhere right now. Yeah. So happy birthday. <laughs> We've got Joanne a lot. Gilbertson. Thank you, Joanne. Let's this uh, next card is from... If I could get it out the envelope, it's pretty tucked in there, huh? Okay. Oh, that's... This is beautiful. That's beautiful. Nancy Lestrange. Look at that right there. Look at that dimension. Look how everything is layered. All of dimension, dimension, dimension. Everything is dimensional. Look at this. Yes. I love this. We love cards with dimension on them. And it has blue. Yeah, look at those balloons, how pretty. I love look at the, the strings. color. And each each balloon has a texture to it. I love that. I like how everything wow. is bordered, like double bordered. Mm -hmm. And she even put the balloons right here, too. Oh, I love that. Thank you so very this, much, This Nancy. is a great inspiration for some uh, masculine cards, but hey, I would love a card like that, too. Now, the next card is from Karen, Karen, Karen DeVoe. DeVoe. Look at this card here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this right here. It's like a beach scene, but she uses stick, sticky juice <laughs> to create that illusion of waves. <laughs> and the happy birthday slightly coming up off the page. Doesn't that look wonderful? That's really... And then she really doubled up like by waves. putting borders like right here. No one deserves a happy birthday to you. Yes, they do. Look what Pam you. Bell. Pam Bell said. What? Thank you, Pam Bell. No, she said I mailed your card yesterday. It didn't turn out very good. Working with one hand, and that is my left hand, and I am right-handed. Lol. That's all right. That is okay. whatever hand you wow. use. Isn't I'm gonna cherish else? it and love it. Yep. Maxine Cave. Yes, I did. Maxine Kay must have just got... She just got you on. Must, let me go back to Maxine Kay. She didn't see her car. Where, where's Maxine Kay? Uh, Denise Glisson didn't see hers either. I think this is you, Maxine Kay. Right. Oh, am I supposed to open it some kind of way? Hold on. She said I didn't open it. I did open it. Am I supposed to go like uh, this? Oh! Oh! Ah, there oh, you go. Oh, Maxine Kay. There Look you Look, everybody, go. see, it stands up like this. Maxine, can you go to another <laughs> level on me? Okay, Maxine. She's putting that University of Kentucky yeah, Bill's thing birthday. down. Thanks, Sherry. Bill's birthday is on the 26th. So, yeah, y'all have time. Isn't that We're cool? We're going to be celebrating all month. Look how she did that, y'all. She put these little things right here in it. Just have to study it. 
Once you study it. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you now. Thank you so much, Maxine. Yeah. Debbie says her uh, husband's birthday is Monday. Her birthday was 314. And she remembers the Tracy's birthday is in March, too. This is from Margie Ryan, who's our house. Margie Ryan. Right oh, Margie. Look what Margie <laughs> did. Music. Margie knows that I love music. Look at this, Tracy. Music is my life. Yep, everybody knows. That's your thing. Everything. Look at these keys. I could play this right now, okay? Look, Bill loves music. I love the beach, okay? Look so at this. this card right here. Look at all this music. I'm stuff. really feeling this card right here. Makes you want to go on vacation. This is an excellent card, Margie. <laughs> Thank you. And even the back, look at this. She got you coming and going and all in the middle. Musical oh, memories. Maxine's is the one with the stand on it. I know. Oh, wait a minute. Right, because when you were looking who at it, I was like, huh? Who is this? That is from Jerry Reed. Jerry Reed. Oh, Maxine. That, so her stands up. <laughs> I, we did do the one with the stand. We did, yeah. We stood this it up. This one. Yeah, we sure did stand it up. Right, Maxine. Remember, we this is the one, right, she Maxine? Where we stood yeah, it up she, like this. She may have not tuned in. You just probably now. weren't here, <laughs> but that's it. We saw it. Maxine Cave. These are great ideas for Father's Day cards too. Just change the sentiment. Hi, Donna Satterley. Hey, Donna. All right. Okay, so you got Margie Rhymes. Yep. Okay. And let's see. The next card is from <laughs> I love it this is from Jennifer Real Jennifer Real look at this right here she knows I love anything that has a tie also and stuff like that look how cool this is oh that is cute. happy birthday layer it all up she can put the balloons from the stamp set up in here thank you so much everybody wow how nice I'm not going to read I haven't read anything because I like to re keep that to myself but uh, it's some good stuff well, this is mine here, and this is, actually, she included a card for me for Mother's Day. Oh, thank you so much, Jennifer. I appreciate that. Yeah, she even used those things from that uh, the Spring Blossom set. set. The Spring Blossom stamp set, yeah. Rule of Thirds up in here. <laughs> yep, I love that. And look how, you know what's really nice? She just put this border right around the back here. Look how, what a big difference that makes. It makes so everything jump out. thank you so much, Jennifer. And the last one I have is from Felicia Thomas. Look at this right here, y'all. It's Felicia two of them. Thomas. This is happy birthday. Look at this now. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna blow your mind. And look how cool this is. See, see the image on is that? that Lisha, superimposed. Lisha T. Are you Felicia? Watch this, y'all. Lisha T. Might be the one, babe. Might be. But right now, I'm gonna keep going. Look at this. You open it up, and then I talk about it. You have the books. Happy birthday. You have another picture. So if I do like that, it's superimposed. And then right in the back, I love this because it reminds me of, you'll see those pictures where you put them on the wall, and it's like two images. It kind of reminds me of that. I think it is, Grace. Felicia Thomas. See right here? I was saying on the screen, I saw Leisha Thomas come up, and I think that's her, but it has Leisha Thomas. Is that you? Oh, she said, yes, ma'am. Okay. That is her. That is her. I love this. This is awesome. And she even did one for Tracy. Even though this is not birthday, show them that, Tracy. This is so cute. I'm not just any craftologist. I'm the craftologist. <laughs> I can't stop procrastinating. I love that. And then she says, get it, girl. <laughs> this is really, this, look how, I, this is just so fun. This is how you just go for it, just have fun. And she's got the stitching on there, too. I absolutely love this. All of these cards are so crazy. Y'all are just something else. And that's it for today. It'll be some more in there coming, believe yep. me. But yep. what I love about it, as I always say, is the uniqueness, the individual, uh, just unduplicatable in whatever the right word is for that, but it can't be mimicked. When you send this card, it is it can only come from you like that. No one else is going to make it exactly like this. It's a one-of-a-kind of thing, and I personally cherish each and every one of these. 
Yep. And uh, Diane Solomon says, hi, Tracy and Bill. Uh, did you get the Mother's Day card I sent you? We probably did. There's some Mother Day, yeah, we, Mother's Day cards up there. We didn't really bring those out. We've gotten a lot of cards. Um, a lot, a lot um, of sympathy cards. We've gotten a ton of. I've tried to split them off. We were trying to split each one. Again, those um, should be. Diane Solomon. This actually came today. That we sure did, Diane. Okay, like I here's sure one, for instance. That's from Diane. Like, so yes, Diane, we actually picked yours up. Now today. this is Mother's Day, but look at this. Look at the level right here. <laughs> I she love she that. these multiple pockets right here. And then she put the she seeds. She put something right here. Roses are red, violets are blue. A little sentiment. Happy Mother's Day. And in between the first fold, she has these butterfly wildflower mix seeds. I guess knowing that Tracy loves butterflies. And I love flowers. So, I mean, yep. it is... Look how everything coordinates. See, the, the middle, this coordinates with this. Maxine's card can open. Everyone keeps saying Maxine's card can open. Maxine, okay, wait. Where's Maxine's That's the card? one. You talking about this right oh, here? Oh, they said it opens also. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, sucky. Maxine. <laughs> Maxine just act just... I'm going to have here. to open these cards. I'm fixing to no, open no, everything no, on here. Doesn't open anything. Okay, here's okay. the front. I'm going to open everything that can open. Here's the front. It says celebrate. Oh. It's the best yeah. I can do uh -huh. right now. Now, here's another level that opens like this. Oh, I love that. Oh. The things we miss, huh? Maxine's like a puzzle. <laughs> Maxine. Maxine's just messing with me. <laughs> uh, Eileen Moore says, Bill, did you serve in the military? I am yes, sending a card. Yes, I did. I, I am sending a card uh, to a veteran. Yes, Bill did, that Bill did serve in the military. I was in the Navy. Sue Ross Redmond says, Happy birthday, Bill. Have a great day. Denise Glisson said, Did I miss my card? Yes, you did, Denise. But I'll find you. Where, let me find it's Denise. Right here. Is it the Mr. Potato? No, no, it's not. It's the one with the, the monkeys on it. That really cute card. I want to know where she got those stickers from. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yep. Look at that cute card. Here you are, Denise Glisson. <laughs> we, I talked about my love for your card. I love this. Look at the colors, and, and then she used her markers to match the colors. I like how, what she did with these the threads. She used, yeah, that, that's really, yeah, look at that. See, just another idea for y'all, lots of inspiration. And then she just colored, she used the colors that were in the, the uh, card itself, I mean, in the card stuff, and just pulled them out in the cake and the balloons. Well, there you pulled go. Pulled everything together. Denise, Denise Glisson is a genius. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you, Bill, for your service. My son was in the Navy. Margie Ryan said that. Oh, well, thank your son. Oh, Denise Glisson got the monkey stickers at Dollar Tree. Who knew? Dollar Denise Glisson knew. <laughs> Laura says, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name. Laura Mc I'll <laughs> pronounce it. Laura... <laughs> Lexmanic, Lexmanic, <laughs> Lexmanic. It's one of those. One of them, right? Lexmanic. It could be A, B, or C. Lexmanic. You both, <laughs> you both have inspired me to venture into card making. I'm beginning to collect things. You know, and there's a lot of things to, to collect. Okay, don't wait till you collect everything. No, just go ahead and use what you have. The cage of sunshine. She's she's hi there. She says, Tracy, are you making Bill make his own birthday card? <laughs> I know that would be funny, huh? Hi, Chris the Cobb. No, he won't have to make his own. Laura says says one of those pronunciations was close. I don't know which <laughs> one. Sorry, Laura. <laughs> Alexandra Rosales is here. Let's see. Yeah, so we, we've been busy, y'all, with family stuff. Lots of family stuff. Ariel graduated on Wednesday. So she that's our youngest. Our, our oldest daughter is moving on Monday. So she's actually getting her stuff packed up. So we got a lot of stuff 
going on. Okay. <laughs> so exactly. and we have a, a dear friend of ours whose daughter is friends with Ariel since elementary. She graduated. Um, so congratulations to Ashley. We'll be at her celebration tonight. Ashley and Ariel have been together since forever. Yes. Since graduated the same year. First grade. From high or school, something. graduated the same year from college. And the two of them have been friends for you for years. Cage and Sunshine <laughs> is up to five hundred subs, Tracy. She's almost there. No, she's there. She just said it. Oh, I thought she said she was almost. Well, she's close, right? Hey, Pat, how are you doing? How's that new grandbaby? Somewhere on there, she says it. Okay. So congratulations to Cajun Sunshine. She's she almost, almost there. <laughs> hey, y'all, go subscribe to Cajun Sunshine Craft so she can crack 500. Okay, what was the question? There was a question about this burlap paper. Um, let's see what the question was. There was a question about... Some cutting. I guess I can answer it now if y'all are willing to stay. <laughs> I'll stay. They're, they're, <laughs> they're spoiling new. She's Pat is spoiling her new grandchild. Well, you, aren't you supposed to, Bill? How many cards we do we have? I don't know. We're supposed to be getting close to. Um, they said they wanted to challenge sixty cards by your sixtieth birthday. So I think we left off at eleven. Yeah, we did. So, um, I guess I'll let you count up the rest of these before I show you what to do with this burlap paper. Okay, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, oh, 24. 25. So he's up to 25. I'm halfway there, practically. Almost halfway there. So there you go. So every day we go to the mailbox, we've been getting cards. Thank you, Vita. Vita Clark says happy birthday, Bill. Oh, did you count this one? Yes, I did. Okay. All righty. So we're almost there. I won't remember that number, and hopefully Bill won't ask me to remember. <laughs> 25. That was a good age. Okay, so uh, they asked me about this paper right here. Someone said they're having difficulty cutting it. Now, I did put it through my cutter um, when I initially did this, but if you use a really sharp scissor, you should be okay. It cuts pretty, pretty good. Um, and the nice thing is you can make some embellishments out of it if you wanted to. Robin Manager got, she got her, her paper, paper yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. I am loving this paper, though. I'm really loving this paper. Good. Bill, what, what were you planning on doing with this? Because I'm going to use it. I don't know. This thing, this thing right here. I'm going to make a window and put something behind it. Probably mm. Hartley or something. I'll trace you out one. I'm going to use this. You're fired. <laughs> You're fired, okay? I'll trace him out one. <laughs> Make sure you give Bill and Tracy a thumbs up. Thanks, Tasha. You need one of those school paper cutters. Not really. Um, if you want to put it through your trimmer, yeah. But if you don't have that, regular scissors will do. Hi, Barbara Lank. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you all that I'm just kind of cutting this. I probably would not use my, well, I probably could use my cutter V scissors. We'll see. Someone says happy empty nesting. Not quite yet. <laughs> ah. Not quite yet. Let's see if I could put one of my butterflies on here, right? Oh, yeah, let me see. I can put one of my butterflies on here, can't I? Lisa says her next order is paper, the Christmas stamps, and the butterfly stamps. Oh, nice. Uh, make sure you get on that list uh, for the butterfly stamp set because that one um, sold out. But it's coming in at some point. Yep. 
I'm just throwing some uh, embellishments on here. I'm going to decorate this just so that even if you didn't have, like you wanted to make a full, you didn't want to make a full card out of the burlap, you can just kind of add little embellishments. And we just got these, babe. Look, this came in the package. This right here. Hi, Kathleen German. You can put that on there if you want. All right? With a happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Margie, Maybe. Oh, no, no, Margie. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. So there's one there. I like how the butterflies can kind of go on that thing. I know. I also like how you can stamp on it. That's what I like, too. I like the fact that you, you can stamp on this now. If you didn't see it in the other video. It's Brian Dickey. He... I hope he's hopefully he's out of the hospital. Hi, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Just add a button. Add a few things on here, right? Ooh, here's a. Here's a. Uh, see, I'm not a type of craft that'll dump everything out on the desk. <laughs> If I'd be a dad, you'd be like... No, you would You would be that type of crafter, babe. I know. You like to dump everything. So, what, what is everyone saying? Let's see. Alexandra says, Tracy and Bill, we want a long live, please. Look at her. <laughs> y'all do not want to keep us on here all this time. Well, we don't want to keep y'all all this time. Y'all might get tired of us. Donna says, my burlap paper should be here in a couple days. I'm anxious to give it. Get it. Oh, you're going to love this burlap paper. Asia Rutledge is here. Hi, Asia. Hey, Asia. She says, I hope you get 60 cards. I hope so, too. But you know what? If this is all I got, it's still more than I would have, would have ever expected. And oh, I, I love that. Appreciate yeah. everything. That yeah, we done. just appreciate y'all. I've learned to show appreciation for each and everything. Okay, look how. So I'm just kind of doing my own thing. Look, Liza, Lisa Christian said a three hour live. <laughs> I think we might have done the longest live in the history of lives, right? You know, it was so long, even I wouldn't watch my own live. <laughs> we went back and watched yeah, it, we babe. Did. We sure did. We went back and watched it. Hi, Bertha Bless who, Wilson. Who does that, right? Hey, Bertha, how are you? Oh, you know what? I'm going to do. What if I took one of these longer strips? Because I'm going to make me some embellishments out of these. What if I took this, right? And if you want to put it through your paper trimmer, you can. Uh, Tracy, Laura Lechmanick, she wants to know, would it be okay to ask what has happened to the quilting marine? Well, I guess <laughs> if you're asking. <laughs> um, he's become the gardening marine. He's been gardening. He has... He's making he's been he's been working basically him and my sister. I missed him so much. But um he's been working, she's been working. Hopefully they'll be back on soon. So I will let them know that you asked about them. Oh, thank you Tasha L. She says Bill and Tracy are two of my favorite two people to watch in the whole wide world. Oh YouTube. my goodness. Wow. Your cards and you guys are amazing. God bless both of you. That is thank a Thank you. Now, that's a big deal right there. I mean, we just do what we love, and one of the things we love is creating. No matter what form or fashion, we love to create, and we love to teach. Lisa T says, y'all are comforting people. I carry y'all around the house on my tablet. Oh. <laughs> Actually, she wow. Said, she said tablet. She's been hanging around us too long. Tablet? <laughs> She's making up words. Well, how can we know exactly what Where's my tablet? <laughs> Where's my tablet? Well, I'm glad you've been watching us on your tablet. <laughs> Nina Girari says 60 is the new 50. Yes, it is. I'm going to accept that. I hope you're speaking from experience. It, <laughs> the ones who are younger, they say stuff like that because they don't understand. Because right now, 60 feels like the new... The new something, okay? <laughs> oh, boy. Y'all are funny. Brian Tickies. Brian Dickey says, Look at that, name. Brian Tickey. <laughs> Brian Tracy has a mess up. Brian your name. Tracy. <laughs> Brian Tickey. 
I met Brian Dickey. He says he got out of the hospital last weekend. Oh. The doctor said she's so proud of his quick recovery. New, new recovery? Home. What did I say? New, new recovery? <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm getting tongue tied up in here, okay? But basically, pneumonia takes time to oh, recover. Oh, my goodness. From. Yes, please take care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, Bill, you all over. <laughs> Cajun Sunshine says she walks around with her tablet, but right now, Jackson is vacuuming. Jackson, stop vacuuming and come watch us. What you think you're doing? That's why he's vacuuming. <laughs> Jackson, I'm picking out some paper, y'all. That's what I'm doing over here. Maxine K says, Tracy, you are the best teacher. You have taught me a lot, so thank you. Oh, you are so welcome. We're going to get back into the flow of things again. Yes. Um, just just give us a little bit of time. Well, I'm trying to get picked up by next week. We're trying to get back in it. Yep, just got to kind of... Just take our time here sure and get is. back into it. Y'all did realize I'm making a card right now. I can't stop myself. <laughs> Sherry Softwell. I hope I hadn't mutilated your name. You, you sound like you. Name. You sound like you did. She says you're the first time catching you live. Your oh, nice. Is my favorite crafting background. Wow. Thank you so Thank you, much. Sherry. Appreciate that. You see how I'm cutting, y'all. I don't have anything out. I had not planned on doing this. But, um, hey. <laughs> All right, guys, Sherry's a first-timer. Tell her hello. Hey, Sherry. We're just a little wild and wacky, crafty family. And we're glad you're here with us. Glad you can join and us. Nita Gironi says she loves the paper choices. Thank you. I'm just trying to not really match everything, but make a really fun card. And, um, <laughs> yeah. This will more than likely end up in someone's package, right? Asia says she just finished a Mother's Day folio, folio album. She's going to post pictures later. Oh, good. Great. Yeah, post it in the group. Lots of inspiration going on in there. Donna Sally says, take your time, Bill. That's right. See, everyone will understand that. Oh, for sure. We we definitely know that. I actually left it up to Bill whether we could go whether we should go live today and... He said he was up to it, so I said, okay. I'm just beginning to get the bears blinking. You went, I can't even say the right word. The bears <laughs> inkling of understanding. You know? Yep. Because I, I, I guess I looked at grief as, you know, like you hurt yourself. Oh, I broke my arm or something. And, it would, and over time, it just kind of heals. And you have that initial pain, but that's it. And, and after that, it gradually subsides. But it doesn't seem to be like that. But I have to keep going. So that's we all have to keep going. And that's what we're going to do. Yep. So we are exactly. just taking it day by day. Brian Dickey is it right. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms and grandmas out there. Yes. Happy Mother's Thank Day you, to all of Brian. you. Brian, let me add mine to that. <laughs> Cajun so the Sunshine card can go says, this way too. Is Ariel all moved in yet? Oh no, that's Chelsea. Ariel's all moved, yeah, in here at, at our house. <laughs> but um she's just been celebrating the whole week. Chelsea's the one that's um packed up and, and ready to go. So you she, see. Yeah, she's gonna be moving on Monday. Thank you, Jennifer Pinnell. She says I, I have a birthday card on the way for you, Bill. It's a happy meal for you all too. Thank you oh, so much. Thank you. Y'all are just like the sweetest. So you see, I'm just I'm just building layers here. That's what I'm doing. So if you didn't want to use your like all of your um of your burlap paper, you could actually just kind of break it up a little bit and use some of it and to, to make your cards. Oh, and I'm loving these, uh, the way these look together. Tasha says, do y'all ever go back and watch after you you go off the chat? Make sure yes. you do that. I left you something in the comments. You'll have to go back and reread it. Yes, we do go back and watch. And we actually laugh at ourselves. <laughs> oh, I do. I laugh at Tracy I mean, all the time. <laughs> we I laugh at, at ourselves. Myself. We've been working out this week, y'all. So y'all be proud of us. And trying to get back into the... Well, Get back into the gym as if we were there before, right? Exactly. <laughs> get back, get back where I had to stop myself. 
<laughs> Listen, I took the first step. I had a membership for four years that I went to two times. That's the first step. <sighs> yeah. Everyone has been there. You want to hear something really funny? <sighs> I have a son. He's like a workout just fanatic. Oh, my goodness. He was so excited when he heard I was working out. He brought these pills over. Dad, take these pills. They're going to re rejuvenate your soul. So they're going to give you the energy you need to do this and that. And they're going to recharge your so and so. I said, okay. I took him, slung him over in the counter somewhere, cabinet. And I talked to him yesterday. He goes, Dad, so have you taken the pills yet? I said, no, I haven't taken them. Why not? <laughs> he said, wants you to just come said, out. You need to take them, right? I see, and he keeps telling me, you need to do it now. I said, well, I'm not ready yet. I'm going to wait a couple weeks and let things build up. He said, no, but you have to do it now because for when... The, I said, look, man, let me tell you something. <laughs> I said, for me to take the... You're talking to a guy who hasn't even walked in five or six or seven years, let alone run or anything <laughs> else. I said, that's like giving me a parachute to attach to the back of my back to run with when I hadn't even been walking. I said, let me get to walking and running first, and then I'll take the pills. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Please. Yeah, we're just taking it day by day. So we went, we did four days this week. Great. Hope you're not sore too late. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> Hope. Oh boy. Yeah. Too late for that one. I can't even straighten my arm out. I hardly picked up anything at all. I've just been walking on the treadmill and doing that other thing, that elliptical thing. And, uh, you know, that's that's about... I just want my body to get back into, like, moving again. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer Bunnell says, Grief is hard. My husband lost his best friend and his mom four months apart last year. It has been a difficult time, but we all get through it day by day, still keeping you in our prayers. Thank you, Jennifer, because I know that you know. Okay. Thank you, Denise Glisson. Denise! Look what Denise done did. Dunkin' Donuts. She's attacking the uh -oh. workout program. <laughs> we better get some bottles. The thanks for the no, um, $10 wait a minute. Denise, for the cases of bottled Denise water. Denise said Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. <laughs> we can't mess up Denise's present. Can't mess up Denise's. Denise wanted us to have this. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all are terrible. Y'all out, out there got us... Man, Tasha said since the last time she's heard from us, they had a tornado in her county. Oh, wow. Man, Donna Savage says her best friend from high school lost her younger sister a couple months ago. I feel her pain. Linda Walker says, what is Happy Meal? I'm going to give you my version of what Happy Meal is. Happy Meal is when you take some crafty items from your craft stash, don't go out and buy stuff. Just if you have stuff in your stash, taking some of that and mailing it out to another crafty person. And so it could be something that you've already made. It could be a card. It could be um, some uh, pocket letters. It could be a little bit of everything. You might have like a lot of paper and you just want to share some of the paper that you have with someone else. It's a great way to refresh your stash. Right. And do it in a one-on-one -on -one manner, you know? Yep. This is a two-inch scallop punch. Um, and this one is from EK Success. Two-inch scallop punch. I love it. Yeah, so you see how I'm just layering stuff? Now I need to put a sentiment on here. I didn't leave room for the sentiment. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let's see what else I can do on this. I could probably fit something maybe in the corner there. This could be a card that goes like this if you want. <laughs> ah, Denise Glisson with her Dunkin' Donut stuff, okay? Hey, hey. <laughs> I put donuts, exactly. <laughs> Cajun Sunshine said Jackson was uh, vacuuming and she tur he turned it off, but she was not going to stop him from vacuuming. Exactly. <laughs> uh, let him keep vacuuming then. Go, Jackson. 
Brian Dickey, if it's okay, Tracy and Bill, I like to email y'all sometimes. We'll share some creations and maybe we can swap ideas. Certainly. Um, just, just send it to... Uh, Gift Basket Appeal. Gift give Basket Appeal. At gmail.com. I'll put it on here, Brian. Here you go. Yep. Let's see what I want to do with this. Actually, I'm going to put something on the inside here. Just a little bit of something, right? So you got those little scraps that you're not sure uh, what to do with, right? Some of the little scraps here. Just take them and bring them inside the card. Kind of like this card the way it is. And sometimes you may not, you don't have to add a sentiment to your card yet. Um, Because this can be a birthday card, this can be a thank you card, whatever you want it to be. So you might not even want to um, add anything to it yet. And you can just kind of hold on to it and say, I like this card, I'm not sure what I want to use it for. But when the occasion comes up, you can go ahead and stamp a sentiment on there. So let me get one of these stamps here. And... See, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp this one though. Yeah, I haven't really been able to get in my craft room the way I would like to. So I got all these little scraps here. So this, this actually helps me get some of that creative energy out because I've got a lot of built up energy right now. You know, because Sodio says loving that card. Thank you. Denise Lesson loves it too. Marjorie Ryan too. Yeah, it just kind of doesn't just just do it, right? It doesn't have to take a whole lot of time to do it. Just do it. Okay, so I'm gonna just stamp in here. Thanks a bunch. By the way, uh, Chris the Cop says Tracy, I ordered the Memento Duke drop inks and love the storage idea you have for them. Would you share the size and dimensions of the plastic storage box you have, please? I guess you can put that in the... Uh, in yeah, the I can video. share it. I'm like, actually, I'll do it right now. Once I finish this, once I do this, I'll put because I have it close by. That's something I can actually find in my craft room. But my craft room is pretty clean right now, too, so... <laughs> right now, it's clean, which means I haven't been in here all week. Okay, so let's do the thanks a bunch right here. Shannon Avery says she watched your Dutch fold card video to make some Mother's Day cards today. Oh, nice. Y'all have been watching those videos. I appreciate that. Let's see. I might put this on the outside. I'm just not sure yet. I told, this is just kind of winging it. I'm just pulling stuff off my cart here. And just kind of seeing what can be done. Pretty close to that thanks a bunch, huh? See what I'm doing here? Can y'all see that? Right there, that gives it a little bit of texture. Marjorie Ryan says, I can't use... The one stamp because I don't have a block big enough. She's smiling. You know, one person did. I think I used a uh, CD case, but no, I, I can't bounce with you, that. You though. probably need one of these. Uh, let's see. That's a big one here. Yeah, this one is like. Uh, this one is like, um, like about three and a half, a little more than three and a half by by five inches three and a half by five inches for this one actually nope actually three and three quarters three and three quarters three and three quarters by five there you go i'm kind of liking that look at that right there maxine, just put it just like that maxine cave says it's clean because bill isn't crafty <laughs> I see it. Well, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna mention that. Hmm. 
you could be right. Look, this, look, y'all, you know what I'm about to do to this, right? Can anyone guess? If I can find I it. I can't guess at all. <laughs> if I can find it, it's going to happen. Uh-oh. Maybe not, huh? Mm. <laughs> you guessed it, Robin Renninger. What's that? <laughs> Stitching. Everyone knew that. <laughs> Everyone. I just couldn't. Y'all have your thing that you really like to do on almost every single card. Y'all have that thing. What I, is it? I like to put my, my image on every card, no matter what it is, of myself. Huh? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to express my humility. <laughs> See, I, now you can do it here. You could put it down here. Kind of like it on the top. It's just up to you. And you can put it sideways like this. Bill says on the top. I like to do my stuff off kilter. I do too. Oh, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. And why I not? I want to put this up. I got to pop it up. Pop, there you go. I love that already. Kathleen German says, I put a stamp on the back that says made with love. That's her thing. That's her signature thing on her, her card. That's a good idea. Let's Gosh, see. Says, Don't look at some stickers. On Thanks, there. Wanda Lewis. Stickers would look good on there, too. Kathleen German, I, I put a stamp on back made with love. Oh, I just read that. Sorry, babe. I'm, I'm, far, I'm, I'm way ahead of you. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but that's okay. What are you trying to say? Better late than never, darling. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. I'm trying to say better late than never. <laughs> Bertha Best Wilson says, I just finished my Mother's Day cards for my three granddaughters and three daughters. One daughter we call Auntie Mama. She has no kids. Y'all trying to get her ready, ain't you? No, she just is called Auntie Mama. <laughs> Oh, boy. I want you to think of yourself as both an aunt and a mama, okay? There you go. Let's see. I got... Uh, I'm thinking of... Bertha, Bertha says stitching is on all of her Mother's Day cards. Nice. So I'm not the only one. Sharon Primo says, I got some folders and started sorting my scraps of paper... Outgrew the folders and went to 13 by 13 Ziploc bags. Kept finding more little hands full of scraps. Now it's all in a big tote sorted out. Oh, nice. You're going to have so many. You're going to need one of those uh, you see those bins that the house builders use to sit outside the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's the craft storage space. That, that okay. They use for wood and stuff like that. That's the little she sheds. You only made six Mother's Day cards. Nice. Alexandra says when, you, when a person's both a mom and an auntie, they're called a Monty. Monty, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You see how that just is coming together there? Bill it said is. he will put his sentiment on the bottom. Well, I like the words at the top, like you did. Oh, you do? Okay. Thanks a bunch. But you can put more stuff somewhere. Hmm. They don't want to stay on here and see me make a bunch of cards. And I'm not going to put anything on the inside so that I can personalize it. Bertha Best Wilson said she's too old now. She's 40-something. Oh, didn't Sarah in the Bible have a child when she was about 100 or something? Don't be telling people that. Well, okay. <laughs> we don't want you to. <laughs> hey, that's the old name. Well, that's up to you. don't want to jump off that. Ah, boy, y'all are funny. <laughs> y'all are funny, okay. And Bill talking about how 60 feels old. He talking I've about, been, I've yeah, been go ahead and have, child, have a child at 100. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> he laughing extra hard, y'all. Uh-oh, here comes... 
curl front airy now. Uh oh, for like five minutes and she'll be running right back out. Right back out. She's been busy. She can find more places to go to than any human yeah. being. You ever know, find. I'm just like curl front. <laughs> I see her car pulling up. Brenda Hightower is here. Hey, Brenda. Brenda's popular. Everyone's saying hi to Brenda. I hear Ariel. Okay. Kathleen German says she has a 12 by 12 drawer full of scrap stuff. Oh, my and goodness. And another one with 12 by 12 with cardstock scraps. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? I, I have these two envelopes here that I've been wanting to do something with. These right here, babe? Look at them. Look how yucky they look. Mm, we you have think a I, You think I can make something out of this? You're going to find a way, believe me. Yeah. We have a 12 by 12 drawer with nothing's in it, but everything else is all around it on the outside. Where's that at? Everywhere. It's you right have a 12 here. by 12 drawer? Right here, right here, right here. Huh? <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about, Don't worry about it. That's the inside joke to myself. I see. <laughs> That's why he has his man cave garage downstairs. You know. uh, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. It sounds like I'm about to be exiled. <laughs> I heard it in that laugh. Never, know. darling. They heard it. <laughs> that. Never meant always. You know, I do laugh like that. Chelsea and Ariel were saying that I have this funny laugh when I'm doing a live. And now that I'm thinking about it, it does sound kind of strange, doesn't it? That's probably because I'm around. <laughs> and I was like, no, I don't. But now that I just heard it, I'm like, oh. See, that's all torn up right there. That's okay. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix that. I'm just going to start grabbing paper because this little oh. envelope thingy is going to look so much better when I'm done with it. I, I just went back in time right quick. What it is, Robert Manager said, a stamp set ideal. And the ideal is called Made with Love. Oh, that's a nice idea. I got you now. Gotcha. I got you, Robin. May took him a may have may took him a while. May, oh have, may, may have taken him a while, but he he got it. <laughs> We're just mutilating the English language. We I wanted, really are. No, the human language. <laughs> In any language, that would have been just a travesty. <laughs> okay, trying to do this without having to get my glue gun out, y'all. Margie says you can make something out of a soul's ears. <laughs> Kathleen German says she's done that before, Tracy, putting the envelopes together. Yes, I love doing these. Time. I usually do like the three um, envelopes, but I think we can do it with two, right? Who says we can't? Says no one. If they do, do we care? No, we don't. <laughs> we do it with ten of them if you feel like it. Yes. Now, I want to see if this um, paper can actually bend. We're going to see this live, right? Let's see if this paper can bend. bend Sammy Avery right? says, this is interesting. Isn't it, though? <laughs> it really is. It's interesting because I'm mindless crafting right now. Right, well, at, at, the, at the place where there is no rules. Exactly. This is quite interesting, y'all. Are y'all tuning in? Because um, y'all are seeing mindless crafting going on here because these two envelopes have been sitting on my desk and I just could not, I had. I didn't have the heart to throw them away. They were all messed up. And this is the, the same thing that I always talk about is taking something that may not be beautiful and changing it into something beautiful. What I do know is that when I'm finished with this, it's going to look a whole lot better than what it looked like before. And, yeah. th and that's for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's not a matter of saying, I want to make this look perfect. I just want to make it look a whole lot better than it did before. Jerry Reed just came on. Hey, Jerry Reed. She says, what did I miss? Well, we showed your card, Jerry. 
We showed your lovely card. The birthday card you sent, which was lovely. Yes, it was. My art glitter glue is not acting right. Maybe if I put the pen in it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I need to go get the... um. Donna Satterley sent me something. I still haven't... It, that box is still downstairs, oh Donna. Kathy Coronister. Turning old into new. Exactly, Pat. Is here. It's our first live. Welcome, Kathy. Welcome, Kathy. And we apologize for the craziness that might take place. But then again, no, we don't. <laughs> we love the craziness. I, there goes that laugh again, Bill. The girls were right. My daughter said I have that crazy laugh when I'm doing the YouTube videos. Okay, so got to make a flap here too. Bill, I got to make a flap for this. Tracy, why don't you make a flap mm -hmm. for that? <laughs> okay, I think I will. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> Kathy says funny. she loves minus crafting. Can't wait to see what you make. Me too. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Seriously. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to pull out some more paper, y'all. That's what I'm doing over here. Getting some more papers. And since I started out with that, do we need, do we really need art? Oh, I know that I'm adding this butterfly to this creation. So that's the other thing that I'm actually going to be doing. So I know that I want to get a butterfly with burlap on here and some other stuff. That's for sure. Okay. So are they still hanging with us? Yes, they're here. Awesome. Okay, so here's some paper right here. Look at this. So this is a paper from my stash. Let's go ahead and get these on here. I just realized I should have just cut the paper up first. It's all good. It's all good, though. You know what we have to do, Tracy? What? And we, like, we kind of got sidetracked. A bunch of stuff that has happened, but that spray stuff up there. Oh, yeah, we got to do that. We're supposed then. to spray that stuff. Yeah, we are. We'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. No worries. I like how the how the lines play off with the dots. Isn't that nice? And now, just to mix things up even more, <laughs> look at that, y'all. I should have just went ahead and cut it, but I didn't know what paper I was using because I'm mindless crafting right now. Exactly. <laughs> I like that too. I thought you would like this. That's like the pinstripes. Like it reminds pinstripe me of a suit. pinstripe suit type thing. There you go. Juan Lewis says, after you finish that, Tracy, you can put it in a junk journal. After I finish which thing? What are you doing now? Put it in a, ju a junk journal? It can be put in. Oh, it can. You know what? It sure can, couldn't it? Okay, look, I'm going to leave that alone right there, and this is what I'm going to do. When in doubt, trace it out. <laughs> Maxine Cave says, from someone who suffers from anxiety and PTSD, minus crafting is a godsend. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, my goodness. I understand. I am so glad to hear that. Um, really that's when my brother-in-law created his channel, The Quilting Marine, um... But he, he created it because he loves quilting, and his quilting helps him with his PTSD. So, yeah, my brother-in-law is the Quilting Marine on YouTube, and he's just kind of taking some time uh, to himself right now, and him and my sister will be back again when they're ready. I think he was kind of, it didn't come so much that he was losing the benefits of just cooking. Yeah, so he just needs to take some time out for himself. I told him, come back when you're ready, you know. Yeah. They'll understand. Because the, the quilting really, it does want it for his PTSD. Yeah. That's, it, that's why he even started. And his channel was, is, such an inspir is such an inspiration for so many. So um, I know I'm inspired by him, too. 
Now you're going to have these little compartments that that actually happen when you do this. So rather than glue the paper, because I don't want this part to stick, I want to do this right here. I'm just going to go around this part of the envelope. Oops. Forgot to put, Bill, look. What? I forgot to put this in here. It's all good. You're ready to use it again anyway. I know, but still. <laughs> Crafting is soothing, Brenda. It, it really says, is. Uh, I think Mark is working on the New York Beauty. He might be. Asia's everywhere. Asia really is. She's such a wonderful supporter. Yes, she is. We have so many of you that are just a wonderful support. A lot of you have asked about my brother-in-law, the Quilty Marine, and my sister, and when they would be back. And they're going to be back soon. They just got to take some time. They're working. You know, you this YouTube thing. Or YouTube itself can burn you out. So you have to be really careful that you take time out for yourself and for family. If if you're if you're a YouTuber. Denise Glisson is cleaning her craft room. She's debashing. Are you? She's debashing her craft room. That's what I call it. It's an inside joke, guys. Instead of de it's supposed to be de-stashing, she's debashing. I accidentally said debashing and it's kind of stuck ever since. Okay, so y'all see how this is starting to come together, right? Let's go ahead and put the other one here. Oh, that's great. Kathleen German says, if you have a round punch, put a half circle for a finger hole. That's how you, know, you do sometimes with a half. Debash. Exactly. Look, you see I'm thinking, right? When Kathleen German said that. Oh, Donna Savage says, didn't you find the stopper topper I sent to you for your glue? It'd be much easier to find in the pen. I hope I sent it. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I Remember I was saying it was downstairs. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah. It's, it's so much great stuff. We almost didn't want to open the box because it's so... No, I, I just haven't, you know, we, yeah, we've been, there, we had people over for dinner yesterday and we, you know, we just been going all week. So, yeah, I'm going to get that. <laughs> Yep. Hi, Ariel. Ariel is here, y'all. My new graduate is here. For five minutes. Yes. Thank you, Krista Cobb. She said, I love the way you turn the uh, pattern. Donna sadly said, that's okay. I know how it is. I know next week I'm going to be getting things together. Recording again and doing all that kind of fun stuff. Everyone's congratulating you, Ariel. Ariel's been going to celebration after celebration after celebration. Now look, y'all. If you look at this, some some people would stress out because the stripes are going this way and then they're going this way. I'm not stressing about it. <laughs> I didn't plan for it to come out like that, but guess what? It's okay, and I'm going to keep going. Exactly. I like that you did that. It creates a kind of diversity or variety. Mm. Cut it off or make a flap? Cut it off. Okay, Bill said cut it off, y'all. Oh, it looks like it's getting dark outside, like it's going to start raining again. Carmina says, make a flap. Oh. <laughs> well, that uh, just completely... Alexandra says, make a flap. Everyone says, make a flap, huh? Angel Rutler's youngest son is graduating from high school at the end of the month. Oh, nice. You have two cut it offs. Cut it off and cut it off. Okay. You we got this off, here. You? I did cut it off because y'all said. Cut it off. <laughs> okay, and this one, let me see. Okay. All right, so let's add, let's see if we can add some of this. just want to make a little spine there, huh? Let's see if this will can, if this can happen, y'all. I'm just going to cut this. 
to see if I can make a spine, right? Just want to see. Because you just never know until you try, right? And I'm going to... See, I haven't really done this kind of thing where I'm folding it. Um, folding it just a little bit there. See if this works. Try my bone folder. This is, I really want y'all to see how this burlap paper works. I'm really loving it. Loving the versatility of it too. Okay. Wow, it's so quiet in the craft room. Denise Glisson says she's making room to put her flower card in the room to finish it. Her who? Flower card? Mm -hmm. Jerry Reed says she loves the dots and stripes. Oh yeah, this dots and stripes. I actually ordered another one, so hopefully this will come in. It's not like this one, but it is a dots and stripes paper pack. So we'll be adding that to the store um, when it gets here. as soon as it gets here. I couldn't find this one completely sold out. And then I didn't have, there wasn't any for, for like backup, you know? Okay, so we got this. You see that? Put it right on there, right? <laughs> this is mindless crafting, y'all. Kathleen yeah, German says it's looking like a book now. It does, but guess what? It can be a card, a book, and you can put little things on the inside. As you up, it says, I add bling or glitter to every card I make. Good. Age is a blinger. <laughs> She's just blingy. This is Bill's little, little frame thing. He wants me to save it for him, so I was going to use it. But what would you do with it? I was going to add it somehow to this, but... I want you to do it, babe, because I, I need you to be doing um, your oh, thing. Yeah. Oh, I like that part right there, what you just did. What? That, that right there. You the didn't end. see it on the video? No, I, I was over we, here watching the screen. I like this part right here. It looks like a book. I'm that, late, huh? was... <laughs> I'm so late. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm working behind the scenes, okay? I'm the behind the scenes guy. Yes, Cajun Sunshine. This burlap is actually... Um, <laughs> This is actually burlap. The backing is paper. It's Karen Chan. Hi, yes, Karen. Yes, and this is act. This is in the store. This stuff. I hope it's still in the store. I don't know. It might. I don't want to say because last time it sold out so quickly. <laughs> so we're just gonna go for it, y'all. I'm just letting this become really. Uh, let's see. I just had my bone folder and just lost it that quickly. Captain German is making meatloaf, corn, baked potatoes, and mm, gravy. Mm, mm, mm. She has to go. Oh, my goodness. Kathleen likes to make us hungry before she leaves. The scene I made of the a crime. Big, I made a big old lasagna. Actually, I made two lasagnas yesterday. And they're both gone. Are they both gone? Wait a minute. Uh, there might be a, there's a little bit left. Just a little bit. That's it. <laughs> You might as well claim it and say it's gone already, huh? I'm just plugging up my um my glue gun because this is so this is such unexpected crafting, but it's fun. It's so I'm just plugging in my um glue gun, y'all. So just don't mind me. I'm just kind of crafting and winging it. Okay, so yeah, I figured using my glue gun rather than an art glitter glue would work better because this is pretty stiff paper. It's really thick for some of you to want to see the thickness on this, but I know some of you are having difficulty cutting it, but I'm not having difficulty cutting it, not with just my regular scissors. The second sign you said difficulties. Difficulty. <laughs> You're having difficulties. Having difficulty. It. Yes, you are. If you're having that. I'm having you... difficulty talking right now. <laughs> you said difficulties. Difficulty. <laughs> oh, boy. Just leave it to your husband to throw you under the bus. You thought you can go get away with it, but no. Cajun sometimes she says she loves those hmm? Especially if it's homemade. I do too, Cajun. Yeah. 
it takes a little bit of time and ingredients, but it was fun. Let's add some, let's let's go ahead and stamp this up and I add can. some uh, texture to it. Just so it's not, uh, yeah, I think we can do that. I think that'll be fun. Okay, so get the Versafine ink. Oh, no, I want to do flowers. Nope, I want to do the flowers. Tina Mayer says, where did you get the burlap paper? I'll um, send you the link. <laughs> are you sure you want to tell us? Yeah. Last time I'll that thing <laughs> sold out so quick last time. I'm afraid to tell y'all. <laughs> um, okay, here comes the link for you, Tina. The burlap paper is in our Mindless Crafting store. Here it is. Is this Jennifer okay. Manel, I, we do that too. She's having breakfast or supper. Yummy. So she can do more. So she can feel like it's morning. It feels like she has more day to craft. Mm. If you eat dinner, you feel like the day is over. I know. So I'm going to stamp on this. And let's see what I want to stamp. Okay, this is the Spring Blossom stamp set. And I am going to stamp on my burlap to give it just a little pattern on this. You don't have to do this, but I don't know. I just feel like being a little bit extra today. <laughs> I miss y'all. Miss crafting with y'all. So if this doesn't come out okay, that's okay, right? So I want everything to kind of line up. So I'm going to dip this in my Versafine. And when we when we did this the first time, I did I didn't leave it on long enough. So it wasn't as vibrant, but it still created a nice pattern. So if you leave it on for just a little bit, let the burlap, the ink soak into the burlap, then you can you can get like the flower pattern on here. So look at this, y'all. So this is what I'm doing. Don't be afraid to sell it out, right? <laughs> Donna Sadler says she fixes breakfast for dinner a lot because mornings are so hard for me to get moving and standing. I fix breakfast for dinner because I love breakfast, no matter what time of the day. <laughs> it could be any time of the day. I, I could eat it around the clock. He loves breakfast no matter what time of the day it is, okay? <laughs> Bertha Best Wilson says, can you carry that ink pad in the store? We were thinking about it, actually. Yeah. It's my favorite. That Versafine is my favorite. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that? Now you just changed your burlap. It doesn't look plain anymore, right? Just have fun. That's all you're going to do is have fun. Okay, so let me get my glue stick here. My hot glue gun, rather. And we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to that is my first time doing this, so we don't know what's, what's going to happen here. But I am making sure that whatever happens, it's going to come out okay. Just want y'all to see what you can do with this. Alexandra Rosales, where can I get those clear blocks? Amazon. Let's see if this will work. Oh. Let me put some more on here. All right. I'm doing this and making whatever little mishaps possible so that y'all can see the right way to do it, right? <laughs> that makes a nice little binding there. Especially that big block. Uh, where can you get it? Um, there are some blocks called Inka Dinka Deuce um, blocks. And I like that brand, but I also like the uh, Recollections uh, blocks also, stamping blocks. Look at that, babe. How do you like this? How do you like I love it? it. I am loving this. OK. 
Okay. Now I want to stamp this side. Then go for it. Stamp it then, right? Exactly. <laughs> I was going to say it. Ah. <laughs> Someone said, now for a little stitching. I think y'all are really enjoying this kind of mindless crafting. Just... Me too, Deanne Solomon. She says, no matter what time of the day it is, I always order a breakfast meal. I do, I do too. Y'all still talking about food. Hey. <laughs> food is life, huh? And Bill is not like one of those fussy uh, kind of people where he's like, oh, I'm only going to have this at breakfast and lunch or dinner. He, he'll be happy with whatever I cook. As long as it's not avocados, anything oh with God, avocados. I, I love avocados, y'all. Bill is like, ugh. It just has a nothingness. I can eat me. avocados with anything. I'll even eat that with my eggs. Oh my God. I love me some. Me, my mother, and my sister love some avocados. Am I in screen here? I just want to make sure I can get caught up doing yes. this that I completely forget that I'm in screen. Donna sadly said, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're in the high tower. How dare you like avocados? Yes, Brenda. That's my sister right there. Brenda said she likes where are my avocado sisters at. I'm a I'm gonna mm. do look. I may have to do an avocado stamp set, right? <laughs> oh, <God>. Ah, Bill. <laughs> Don't be surprised. Eat a fried chicken stamp set. <laughs> Have a drumstick on there, huh? No, a thigh. Bill, you're too funny. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now, does this look... This looks so much better. See, and I'm just kind of folding that up a little bit. Let's see. Ooh, it makes a nice little texture for that, right? It looks better than it did before. No one would have known that this is like the envelopes, right? I would have known. No, now, I oh, have known. oh, yeah, I could. You know what? I see what. Um, you know what? Let's see. Take this, right? And see, you just want to stamp. Oops, look at that. I'm putting it the wrong way. It's Remy Boy. His mom. He's reading. Hey, Lorna. That's Lorna, babe. Hi, Lorna. I finally realized who she was. <laughs> right, I can slip something in here, a little note or message. Usually you can do that with the bigger one, but it's okay. That way someone knows that there's something in there. It's okay. Everyone's saying happy birthday to Donna, huh? Happy birthday, Donna. Got my little here. I need some bling on this. This needs some bling, babe. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that bling, right? That's what they say. Oh, wait a minute. Little notes. Bill, what about these notes? What notes? These right here. I'm going to show you all in a moment. Hmm. And put it on the middle of that? That's fine. Go ahead. Maxine Cage says, I'm a chef, and I think avocados taste of grass. Try it with smoked salmon on an eggs benedict. Well, if it tastes like grass, why don't you just put some grass on it? <laughs> and it's cut to the Don't taste. do that, y'all. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't do that. Okay, Bill. Happy belated birthday to Donna. I didn't know it was Donna's birthday. No, that that was la last weekend was Donna's birthday. That's close we enough. Her. I swear we did. Oh, my oh goodness, I forgot. Bill. Yeah, we did. I love that. Donna, forgive him. Donna, the days are so long. Plus, I don't sleep at night a lot right now. But, but anyway, uh, so it seems long. But I still say happy birthday anyway. Exactly. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I 
Yeah. You make the world a better place. Let me take these notes out of here. Bill, you make the world a better place, babe. Well, there you go. Hedge told me to behave. I thought I was, but maybe I wasn't. I don't know. Marjorie Ryan says, better late than never. Well, there you go. True. I hear Ariel somewhere over there, huh? Oh, let me let me pull this out, y'all. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna kind of forgot how to use this thing. Ooh. It's okay. I'm gonna just do it just because, yeah. You like that thing, don't you? I love it. But I don't want the edges on there. I just want those off. I just want the little, you know, like the little things on the side. So guess what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? Cut them off. <laughs> there you go. That's what scissors are for. That's exactly it. I just want that edge to be like scalloped like that. So I'm just going to cut it off. Cutting it off, y'all. And leaving some flowers on there. So what's everyone saying, babe? I can't see the comments because I'm, I'm over here working. I'm, I'm mindlessly crafting, so I can't see the, the comments. I'm mindlessly reading. Let's see. Uh, they're saying, Donna Sally says she loves Mexican food. And mm. she thinks being born on Cinco de Mayo plays a big role in that. Oh, okay. Is that what, that's what she would tell her daughter. <laughs> Emma Tabor is here. Hi, Pam. Hey, Pam. Well, we were sharing cards, and this turned into a fun crafting time, right? Krista Cobb says she likes that punch, and I actually think I have that one. Oh, get that thing out. <laughs> it's in her stash. Everyone has this stuff in their stash, right? Uh, Remy Boy and his mom. What's her name? Lorna? Lorna. She says, where did you get that thing at? Which thing? The, the punch? punching thing. Oh, someone actually, Melanie Culbertson sent this to me. Oh, yeah, it's a Martha that. Stewart uh, punch, but no one, we were looking for it online to see if someone could find this particular one with that exact, there's some that look similar, but I don't know if this one was a discontinued one. I'm not sure. I can't even straighten my arms. That bad, babe? Yes. Mm. It is. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's make a little... Uh, Ariel, did you see the card? I did. From, uh, Lisa Christian. Yes, can you bring it? Ariel, Mona, is Mona Lisa still on here? I don't know. Mona Lisa. Kathy hey, Champion is on here. <clears throat> and the high time says lots of Martha Stewart stamps have been discontinued. Yeah. Look at the card that Ariel has. Oh. Yeah. She did now her na Lisa Ariel's name Ariel's name. Ariel's name is spelled A R I E L L E. But do we... Oh, that's beautiful. But we love this card. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous, beautiful. Ariel? It is really beautiful. Very it beautiful. is. Thank 20, you. 2019. I love it. It's perfect. She exactly. loves it. Thank you for taking the time. This is our stamp set right here. You see the arrows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Donna How Sally nice. Has to go. Bye, I love Donna. the way she personalized this. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Donna. Follow your own arrow and reach for the stars. I love that. 
Mona Lisa, is this oh, your she handwriting? Said she's there. She said I'm here. Is this your handwriting? I mean, your handwriting is like gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Congratulations, Ariel. Do you want to read this? Um, you can read it. You read it. <laughs> your college graduate, you. <laughs> your burnt out college grad. Follow your own arrow and reach for the stars. Lisa Christian, your handwriting is gorgeous. For real, though. Okay. Congratulations, Ariel. Wishing you the very best in all your future endeavors. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Walt Disney, yes. Love that. May God richly bless you always. Love, Lisa. Mona Lisa, pronounced Lisa. We kept saying Liza. <laughs> Christian. Beautiful. I love Beautiful the colors too. Oh, I love that. And look at a little gem. Like right in the center of here is a gem. That is so adorable. There you go. Love it. Ariel, don't you feel special? I do. You are special. I'm loved. You are loved. And led by the mind of crafting community. <laughs> That's so sweet. So Ariel, what's your next thing now? Life. Life. There you go. <laughs> she said life. <laughs> Not, hey mama, moving out or anything like that. She's just like, my next thing is, what's your next move? Life. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how your dog can conveniently find his head underneath your hand. <laughs> Look, Cinnamon, Bill is on the floor in the craft room right now. He's moved from sitting up in a chair to being on the floor. Because I'm so sore. And he's um, not reading the comments at all, so... <laughs> I have no idea what y'all are saying. Maxine K says, all of this from two old envelopes is brilliant. It's so blooming clever. Thank you. Hmm? Now? Yeah. Oh, can we share? Oh, Ariel says she has to tell me something when I get off this live. And she's really excited about it. Oh, boy. I don't know if I can take any more excitement, y'all. I just don't. Alexandra Rosada says, Tracy, can you come to my craft room? Wouldn't that be fun if I can do like Star Trek and just kind of beam me up, Scotty, and then I just go to whoever's craft room, spend about a nice maybe an hour or so, then and then go to go someone else's. <laughs> Bill, really, really, Bill. Captain Chappie, y'all gonna be empty nesters. Cajun Sunshine I don't know. says, "No, no secrets." I know, right? <laughs> she has oh, something. Wait a minute. She has something to tell yeah. us, Bill. Remy Boy and his mommy. Her name is Debbie. Oh, Debbie. Why am I calling her? You said it's Debbie a Laverne. Laverne? Is that it? Is that it? Deb <laughs> I'm just renaming you. Debbie, she's gonna make you be something else. I just gotta keep up. <laughs> Too crusty envelope. <laughs> now you know you, you know what I did here. Right? Some money together. <laughs> you know what I did, y'all. I put brown a brown base on this, and that's okay because guess what? It doesn't stand out on there because of the back, the brown background. So when that happens, you get a black background, and you're gonna I'm gonna add it to that. You know, all of these little mishaps while there's a plane flying overhead. I don't think anyone can hear it. We got a celebration to go to tonight. Huh? Yeah, so that's what we need to finish. Y'all got me on here having fun. They'll understand. Uh oh, Jackson has the Manhattan zone. Uh oh, look at him. I'm over here digging, y'all. Jackson brought back in time, ain't he? Don't mind me. 
I'm uh, over here rummaging through stuff. Yes, it is Laverne. David Laverne. Laverne. I knew it was something with an L somewhere in there. Oh. Kathleen's back from eating. She's still eating her. Uh, and we're still live, huh? <laughs> her meatloaf. Kathleen's. Oh, meatloaf. I love meatloaf. And their neighbor says, Ariel, tell us your secret now. <laughs> Y'all heard that, right? She's so excited what she has to tell us. So, We're going to Paris, Ariel? And, I'm, and she's paying. That's, that's a secret. <laughs> what are we doing? She doesn't want to tell us. She doesn't want to tell us live. Bye, Carmina. Bye, Carmina. Bill, here, you make yourself useful and unclog my glitter glue. My art glitter glue. Thanks, babe. Let me pull it out. Oops. Yeah. I'm just not doing a very good job here, huh? <laughs> I'm mindless crafting, babe. How many people are on here anyway? Like two people watching. What? I bet that meatloaf is delicious. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and start getting this together here. See, I'm putting a black thing around that. I need to give this some dimension, though. I can't help it, y'all. Exactly. It needs dimension on it. Bill and the dog are lounging. This is hilarious. You know? <laughs> Bill and the dog are on the floor lounging, just wrapped up in each other. <laughs> Bill is laying on his side. The dog is right there with him, and he's got my um, laptop on the floor, and they're just having... And they were, no matter where I move my hand, he's putting his hand under it. Right. Cinnamon is following his hand. If he tries to type any message to y'all... <laughs> Cinnamon is like, uh, I'm right here, Dad. I'm right here. Your hand does not belong on that keyboard. He does that a lot. How do they know how to do that? How do they know? And he makes you feel guilty, too. Okay, let's see. Looking for one of my tools, which has gone missing. Mm. I know, right? <laughs> Figure that one out. I do with it, so I'll just have to use this. Have y'all ever had that happen? I'm sure. It's gone missing, so I'm just going to use this. On its own. Bill's not here, so I can't... I mean, he's not, like, right next to me, so I can't blame him. So I can only blame myself. That's okay, though. So Brenda says, today is our hubby's birthday, and she made him a Bruins card with a hockey mask paper and clippings from the sports page. Oh, nice. Loves it. Happy birthday to your husband. See, that's Susan. the way you get to personalize your cards. You can do like school colors or, you know, just to make something like really, really personalized. That's the beauty of the handmade cards. And no one's going to say, hey, Tracy, you took an envelope and had the nerve to make me a card out of an envelope. They're just not going to say that. At least I hope not. <laughs> and if they do, just run. Just run. Am I even in the screen here? I guess so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Bill, did you finish? Oh, you got you worked on my art glitter glue? Okay, thanks, babe. I want this to really stick on here. Look, I'm just getting the art glitter glue all over me. So I'm trying not to eat anything because um, the party tonight. Mm. I get a little bit of a snack. This Rocky Road ice cream is calling my name, but 
I'm gonna try to just I'm gonna try to just be. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of this on here because you can use the art glitter glue on here. I just use it on the spine because it was so stiff when I bend it. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on here. Right, and what's going on here? I don't see the comments anymore up there. Uh, my internet is acting up, so my connection is in now. Uh oh. I hope we didn't lose y'all. I'm over here just mindlessly crafting. <laughs> well, I still see you. If you're going in and out, just uh, refresh the page. Hopefully, that'll get you back in again. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this here. Oh, you're still there? Okay, good. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. And let's go ahead and apply this right here. Good. I'm glad y'all are still there. Good. Okay. I need a little bit of something. That's coming out pretty good. It's coming out, ain't it? Mm -hmm. It's coming. Let's see. Oh. I gotta find some. I need some bling on it though, so let me go find some bling. Uh-oh. My pen for my art glue. You got it? Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more stuff. I'm just getting a little bit of something here to add to it. Next thing Paige says, you can stick the flap of the envelope in and use it as a gift card for a folder. Yes, you can. Debbie, That's a good man, idea. I'm loving the glitter juice. I love how it looks and how fast it dries. It does dry pretty fast, doesn't it? You would think I'm falling asleep. Huh? You would think I'm falling asleep. He is, y'all. Don't 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 let ah. this He over there on the ground acting like he's oh, uh the dog. He over there with the dog. He's keeping the dog company on the floor. <laughs> he's keeping the dog company under the desk. Oh, Jennifer, she has to go cook her breakfast now. Look, the way Bill is sleeping over here, he need to... <laughs> but how are you going to tell us go live and then you're going to go fall asleep? Really? <laughs> I'm not asleep. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like, Bill, are you sure you want to go live? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to go live. Yeah, let's go live. Gooby got must have got tired. He's like, Mom, help me. Because Gooby's now he's at my feet. Cinnamon is at my feet right now, y'all. That means Bill is not petting him anymore. I hear you typing over there though, babe. So you must be awake. He must he must have heard someone say breakfast. <laughs> Debbie says, wake up, get some coffee to wake you up. Drink it or should I pour it on myself? I better wake up then. Huh? <laughs> you just might, okay? Just gonna put a little bit right there. 
Well, who's still hanging out here? Yeah, some people leaving. People saying my trooper Bertha says bye to all everyone leaving right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, Linda, Linda Holmes said, I just came on to find out that Bill is sleeping. No, I'm not. Yes, you did. You heard it live. <laughs> Bill fell asleep during the live. I and he's, make some he's supposed to be monitoring the comments and falls asleep. Yeah, let's go live. He even said this Holden morning. That's right. That's because I'm working hard on Dog City. Look, the dog left him, y'all. The dog is like, he's not petting me. He's asleep. And he came over here to lay on my foot. Like, Mom. <laughs> Okay. I'm trying Let's to see bling, bling a fire. I'm blingifying, babe. I'm blingifying. Let there be bling. Kathy Champion said they were having some bad weather where she was. That's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. There we go, right there. Okay, now. Hmm. Hmm. Bill, what are we doing? Thank you, Brooke. Brooke Johnson said, go, go get some Starbucks. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> that's so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Oh my God, Lisa says at least send him in a small. Her dog is 82 pounds and thinks he can lay on her feet. He probably breaks your foot off if he does that. <laughs> How many pounds? She's walking around on her ankles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 82 pounds. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's an ankle breaker. Asian large, large letter says, yes, blingify that card. The Asia is a blinger. Yes, we've got a lot of Asia's crafty creations, don't we? We love her stuff. Is that a little bit of time to dry? I think German says her dog is 65 pounds. And Woo! She's a lap dog. Please. It's those big dogs that think they're like little pups. Like when we go to my sister's house. Who's Gunner? Gunner. Oh my God. Thinks he's, he's a. a um, He's yeah, he thinks he's a tiny dog, and I'm like, wow, I am not using. He likes to sit like right up on your lap and cuddle oh with God, you. He's so big. He's huge. <laughs> he's a, yeah, he's pretty big. He's like a small child. He's a he's pit bull. Big. He's a pit bull, and he's huge. <laughs> and he thinks he's a little baby. Child about ninety five pounds. And he wants to just cuddle. Yeah, he loves Bill. Every time Bill comes over. Goes over there. He's like cuddling right up. He just knows who you are, babe. Okay. Bird, I'm not sleeping. He's trying not to sleep, y'all, but I just, yeah. I'm not going to tell on my husband, but he's sleeping. <laughs> I want to add some bling to this right here. To what, the tail? Just, yeah, the, the little tail of the thing. It would be. Oh, you're actually awake. <laughs> Good morning, dear. I'm looking at the uniform of the other whole thing. Good morning, darling. You can do that too. That'll be perfect, matter of fact. That's what I, I'm. Okay, thanks, babe. Aren't you glad I thought of it? <laughs> I really am. Me and Asia thought of Your that. Your creative genius is just. If it weren't for me and Asia, you wouldn't have thought of that. I wouldn't have. What would I do without y'all? I don't know. We wouldn't want I'd be that. just lonely in my craft room. I really would. And if I need to add some hot glue, I can add some hot glue to this. This is this is coming out really nice. Brothers, I'm loving this. Wilson says, would you call that a card or a folder? It's it's whatever you want it to be. I could call it a card folder. I call it a card. A I call it a folder. <laughs> call it a folder. You name it whatever you want. And then I could put like a little gift card right in here. And only the young people would find it. Well, Old, no. Here, here's what here's this. what you do. You just make a little note, right? 
Yeah, make a little. Make a little. Car the shreds, looking for something in it. Okay. Let's see. What if we made Lisa, a little? She says, "I love the way you layer." After her embellishment marathon, she's gonna practice layering. Oh, nice. Yes, you'll be happy with the results when you layer. Let's see. Please don't do that arrow thing. Well, you said someone just rip it open, so now I'm thinking I need to put something in there that says, like, look in here or something. Oh, that's cool. Look inside. Something like that. Pamela Tabor says, yes, Siberian Husky. Who still thinks he's a puppy and wants to sit on her lap and he's 85 pounds. <laughs> he sits on one leg and snaps it in half, okay? <laughs> no circulation, right? What our dog does is he lays on you and he makes you not want to get up and move. You feel actual like feel guilty. guilty. You do. Tracy tell me to do something. Tracy, because you get such and such as I can't. Cinnamon's laying right here. And he'll be upset if I move. Yep, he sure does. My husband uses that as an excuse. I'm like, but Cinnamon's <laughs> upstairs. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's laying down right here. Yeah. Excuses, y'all. Wanda Lewis says, now you know, Tracy, you're going to have to get all of your old envelopes and do a variety of those folding cards. A lot of people say the card is coming together nicely. I like that. Well, you said that no one's going to know that anything is in there. Yeah, but so you did that to make me be quiet. That too, now that... making me quiet. <laughs> well, the mind, once you say something, the mind immediately goes into action of thinking a way, of a way to solve the problem. That's right. We all know who the boss is. Cinnamon. Especially when he hypnotizes you. You know, he really does. Oh my goodness, he and does. You find yourself doing stuff. Yep. We had to put cinnamon on a diet. He still puts the Vulcan mind lock on us. It makes us break the diet, though. I know, right? That's good. Look in here. We got new dog food for him. He looks at it like, what the world? You, you, I know y'all think I'm eating that. Like, who's that? Are we getting a new pet? Who's that for? <laughs> like, um, so who's going to eat that? He went for days before. He was so, I guess he was so hungry, he was just forced. He sure did. He was really had me worried because he was looking like he was just going to. I'm not eating that. Right. He, he looked exactly like that. He was like, I'm not eating that. Or who is that for? Like, if you think for a moment that I'm eating that new food. We You're sadly mistaken. You You're sadly mistaken if you think I'm going to eat that. Michelle Winger finally caught you both live. Well, we've been off long enough for you to catch us. <laughs> to be caught completely. We've been off for a minute. Oops. Take the pen out of there. I'm trying to type. He keeps putting his head on the mic. He does. His hand, so I can't type. My art glitter glue is not acting right today. I haven't used it in a while just because I haven't been in my craft room. And that wants to act. I'm using the other it's hand. It's kind of acting up. But he won't let me use any hand. He won't let me use no hand or nothing. <laughs> Cinnamon got Bill's hand on. Cinnamon, I got one hand. <laughs> He's holding your hand hostage, right? He's holding your hand hostage. That's what he's doing. Yeah, see, so y'all, I'm just placing stuff. I'm just having fun with it and placing stuff wherever, wherever you feel like placing stuff. Just, just do it. Okay, let's see. I'm looking for some of my scraps now. Looking through my scraps. Oh, Lorraine Elder says, Tracy and Bill, you made the start of my day the best Mother's Day since losing my mom. Oh, Thank you. my. Happy birthday, Bill. You shared her birthday. I do. Man. Love your video. Chad wow. Love from Australia. It's just something like the same birthday. Yeah, 
Wow. That is awesome. To be able to make someone's day is like, that's that says a lot, you know? Uh, let's see. I'm looking for some papers, some scraps of paper. Exactly, Pamela. She says she used to have two cats that slept on top of her covers at night. One was behind her legs, and the other was near her stomach, so moving her body was out of the question. <laughs> you felt like a mummy, huh? Ariel's back. Ariel has something to say, and I, she's wanting me to. <laughs> Cajun Sunshine sign craft says Tracy, the picture of your mom standing up next to Ariel. She made Ari look like a giant. I know, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. Oh, there's one on my Facebook post. Yeah. yeah. Bill, this is coming together, babe. Well, there you go. Exactly, Debbie. She says our pets do control us. They really do. <laughs> Put this one here. Sherry Bond, she says she thinks the, the card is perfect as it is. Oh, thank you. I got to put another message in there, too. I'm going to put another message somewhere in the inside of here. Like right here. Kathleen German says, y'all try sleeping with both dogs. Mm. And a boyfriend in a double bed. Oh, my goodness. Hold up. Mark and Yvonne, they have four dogs. Four big ones. Yes. <laughs> huge, big bulls. And I mean it? Huge. That one, one of them is 90 pounds, okay? You you make the world a better place. Isn't that a wonderful message? It is. And I think that do more of what makes you happy, right? Not only if you, you're, you're doing more of what makes you happy, but you're also... If you want to make the world a better place, do more of what makes you happy. Because if you're happy, guess what? Someone else that is spreads happy. to other people, and then we have like a, you know, like a just a domino effect. Like a, right, yes. A chain reaction. Yep, a chain reaction. Well, exactly. The people in your world are going to be happy. Yep. And if those people are happy, then perhaps some of the people in their world are happy. And so on, and so on. Exactly. Yep. Kind of like a, like Chain a pebble reaction. that's skirting oh, all the Oh, it ripples in the water, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. The waves kind of superimpose on one another. Look at my husband dropping knowledge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my husband over here dropping knowledge. Oh, Rainy Elder says, what is the paper pad you're getting those things from? This actually is, we should have showed this is another live. This is called Happy Notes. And um, Joanne Gilbertson sent me this in Happy Mail. Thank happy you, Notes in Happy Mail. Isn't that nice? And I just said, you know what? Why not take these notes, put them in cards? So I started creating cards. So some of you that may have uh, made an order may have seen some of these in your order because they're, to me they're just wonderful happy messages um i rough you look at that look how cute that is um there's just so many different when nothing goes right go left <laughs> you know just something to brighten people's day and on the back of them it has the to and the from and so i'm just using these this is the happy notes to share and it's from natural life so she sent it to me and i thought i might as well go ahead and share it with others by putting them in some of the orders. Not all of them, but I randomly put card, drop cards into some of the orders that y'all make. Okay, so I am going to just give this a border because I don't want it to look too dark. Right? And my desk doesn't look too bad right now. Oops, <laughs> look at that. That went crooked, right? I'm not going for perfection here. I'm going for fun. All right. 
because nothing is perfect. And that's why I love handmade uh, items because they're not perfect. Look at that, babe. So I'm, now I'm just going to make, I'm putting this here. And that is cool. I want that to lay flat too, so. You like your tape machine, though. I do. A tape machine, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> he named it again, a tape machine. Look how cute. Wouldn't that brighten someone's day? What do y'all think? Pamela is right. Handmade is perfectly Handmade imperfect. is just like, oh my goodness, it's I love imperfect. stuff perfect. that's handmade. Okay, so. Perfectly imperfect. Yep. And Robert Williams says, and that's what made her my wife. There you go. Because she was perfectly imperfect. Taylor specifically for me. There you go. <laughs> and we've been inseparable. Inseparable. In who? Inseparable, babe. Ever since we've been inseparable. Ever since. Inseparable. <laughs> like Astro was saying. Uh, stop, babe. Stop. Don't start. <laughs> Don't start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was my show. Inseparable. You know, I just could look. I'm using a Sharpie, y'all. I'm breaking the rules. <laughs> rules are meant to be broken. Sharpie. Sharpie stitching. Sharpie stitching. This would make someone's day bright, wouldn't it? What about the outside of the other one? Huh? Hey, open the car around there. It, open it. It is open. See, see we are right the thumb that has the pencil in it. Uh huh. Stitching right. It has here. the this. Yeah. The sharpie. It's stitching on the outside border. What do you think? Right here. No. On the, Right on here. top of this dot right, right, right here? Right on the edge. Right, that's what I was saying, right here? Not on the bottom. See, so this is what a, happens when your husband says, no, I, I don't yes, want right to craft, darling. No, well. You go ahead and craft. Yes. You go ahead and craft, darling. I just want to sit and watch. And the other outside, that's it. That was on the, yeah, on the outside. Yes, perfect. See, that gives me the feeling of completion. Well, it gives you the feeling of completion. I must feel complete. Well, now you're complete, babe. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, Susan Stewart says your dog's name is, is Sharpie. Vicki Jensen is from Montana. I just got home and caught you live. Well, hey, Vicki. Well, it's about time. <laughs> there are no rules whatsoever. Back cover. That is beautiful. Thank you, babe. I'm glad you I'm glad you like it. Stop showing me the clock, darling. Stop showing me the clock. Y'all, he's showing me the clock. He's telling me we gotta go. Cause he takes so long to get dressed. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Please. He takes so long to get dressed, y'all. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You know, that's a confession that she's speaking. It's just ridiculous. My stuff is like grease lighting. Okay? So you got a shower and everything. I like that little L, that little corner thing. The corners. You keep the corners for those things, and then you just add them in. That is so cool. One of our subscribers um, sent me these in Happy Mail, and I was like, what a genius idea. 
oh, here's the other one. So, yeah. Take your little cutoffs and now make little corners. Bertha, I like stitches. Bertha says, Bill don't like stitches. I like stitches. <laughs> Just not the kind that to cover up your, to sew your cuts back together. But he likes stitching. Stitches. <laughs> Both of them. Isn't this the coolest, babe? It is. It's really coming along. <laughs> yeah, from start to finish. And this was mindless crafting because we definitely had not planned on doing this. Yeah, that's nice. There you go. I feel like I need I need some more of these little um, border things. I want to put some right here. I need some more of these, y'all. More what? The little borders. Where are you, you going to get them from? I'm about to make some right now. There you go. I knew that. How'd you know that, babe? I'm just testing. You just knew, huh? He just knew, y'all. Okay, I'm going to pull these out. You're supposed to use these little things right here. And then go like that. This is supposed to be a little border right here. I just feel like it's easier for me to see when I turn it this way. This is just me. This is just me being me. Well, there you go. Debbie says, you can't find a school ball, ball card like this. So nice and pretty. Thank you. Yeah, handmade is the best. I don't. I mean, when I get something handmade from someone, I just know that they took a lot of time to do it. And so, you see, that's what it looks like if you were ever to use that border. But I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use this. <laughs> I cut that up just to get this. But this is adding something to my stash, you know, at least. Like, you ever see the cartoons back in the day? They would cut down a whole tree just to get a toothpick. <laughs> Bill, I don't know what kind of cartoon you watch. You know, like Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny would do something like that, huh? Yeah, that was kind of. That's cartoon. funny. <laughs> Cut down a whole tree, but see, I'm going to use this. Okay, at some point, that's going to end up on someone's card. That is cool. I just needed that little extra border. See, all you have to do is get started, and everything else will fall into place. Robin says she received a box of chocolate-covered strawberries yesterday from her daughter. Oh. She said because she can't be with me tomorrow. It made my day. Oh. And once again, happy Mother's Day to all of you. Daniels loves this live with hearts. Oh, thank you, Yvette. It's nice that y'all can just kind of stick around with us and do some stuff and look at that look how that changes putting that white little border around that look how it just changes things up outside, and look at that it's like a built-in border yeah it's cool look at that wow see ron marquis knows it she remembers that cartoon it was the chipmunks on bugs Bunny, chippendale I feel like I need some white stitching on this, though. Well, go ahead. If you feel like it, just do it, right? Debbie says, her mother's day would be just me and my cat. My daughter's sick with bronchitis and my oh, son no. lives in Louisiana. Sometimes your cat is better company. Who said that? I don't know. Oh, you just, I, oh, you're something you made up. I'm like, who said up. that? <laughs> you can't see it. Sometimes you just want to relax, though. Ariel, you heated up something. Something smells good. Bill said there was cinnamon in there trying to beg you for some lasagna. Ariel, don't let the eyes get you. Cinnamon left the room. I no wonder he left the craft room. He smelled food heating up. This is really coming out the way I thought I wanted it to. Well, I, I actually didn't think it was going to come out Mickey like this. Jensen I had said, no idea. Are you going to make a stitching stamp? Please. Bill, write that down. 
<laughs> I thought y'all were tired of stitching. I really thought y'all were tired of stitching. <laughs> I guess not. Would be nice with some little. Isn't that lovely? Some little gems right in here, right in the center of this flower. <laughs> Bill, what do you? <laughs> He's like, I know you better get off this live so we can go get. <laughs> Bill. Yeah. Darling. <laughs> My husband is ignoring me, y'all. I just want y'all to know that during the live, he's falling asleep. Now he's ignoring me because I decide I want to do one more thing. Ooh. <laughs> I'm typing. Bill has his head hanging down like... I'm on the floor. I'm I'm told, if y'all could see what my husband is doing right now. I'm stretching. He's like, I done told this woman... <laughs> Just one more thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we says we we'll have to get dinner in the oven and shower. Happy Mother's Day. And say happy Mother's Day to your mother, Tracy. Oh, you. I sure will. And Bill, get some coffee. Laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, Bill. Ariel, are you riding with us to the to the party? She must not hear me. Are you driving yourself? So I you want to see it. When you want. I know, right? It's it's when you got grown kids, they drive when them you know, their so own I, selves. I can escape with you. <laughs> well, more than likely, we'll leave before her, but you know, because that's her bestie. But um, she probably wouldn't want to tag along with us. Right, it's so right because in ten thousand years, they want one more thing. <laughs> Just one more thing. I guess that's right. That's why we're doing it. 10,000 years from now. They'll say, why did they put on? Oh, time for some stickles. Just one more thing, Bill. <laughs> Just one more thing. Let's see. Some stickles right around. Oh, I could put some stickles in the center of these little flowers right here. If I wanted to, I could probably put some stickles in the center of here, but I, I really like the way those look. There you go. And this is, let's see, this is the Stardust Stickles. Oh, wait a minute. Where's those diamond stickles? I got to get the diamond stickles out. Kathy Champion. Got me addicted to these diamond stickles. Okay. Bill, did you tell them about the sale in the store? No. There is a 20% off sale on in on the entire store right now for Mother's Day. So it started Thursday and it's still going on. It'll end tomorrow. Uh, Sunday at midnight. So just so that y'all know, happy Mother's Day. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this. Now I got just one more thing. <laughs> okay, for real. This just just one more thing. Um. Yeah, just one more. Well, almost one more thing. Let me just see. Wait a minute. I, I just got to check something before I, I commit to that. To that one more thing. Okay, for real then. Just one more thing. <laughs> oh, y'all are funny. Bill, for real, this is going to be the last. I, I need to have some, some shimmering stuff on here. Use my, um, my Stardust jelly roll pen and just go over the words just a little bit. Pamela Tabor and Vicky Jensen are talking about how they tried to put eye drops in their eyes and kept missing their eyes. I had an eye doctor appointment today. He put drops in my eye. He thought he was going to use that machine. You know, the one with the... How, with how, the, do, we, the, how the, do we get on that subject? The arm comes out towards your eye. You're supposed to keep your eye open. And I was like, doctor, if you think I'm going to keep my eye open on this machine, you have lost it. I, I told him I you told him it. he's lost it. I told him I can't do this machine right here. You got to give me another one. 
So he gave me the machine that blows in your eye with the with the gust of wind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I couldn't do the other one with the, with the arm that comes out at it. It's an arm that comes out at your eye like it's gonna stab you. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. no, no. Ah. I can't do this one. I'm sorry. Ah, just one more thing. <laughs> Crazy, you already said that. Okay, and I'm saying it again. <laughs> you keep saying it. I'm reading the comments up there. They're oh, laughing. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know how this goes. You say you got one more thing. And I'm probably going to, once I got to let this dry. But once this is all dry, I know I'm going to come back and add more stuff in here. Just because. But so this is what we got so far. I'll put a little tiny little sign on the back there and put my name on it. Let me just go ahead and cut out one more thing just so that I can have that to put my name on the back. See, I'm going to I don't I don't want to mess that up, but I just want to show you. I'm just going to put that like right there. Just have that little half looking cloud thing going on. Something like that. Where I could put my initials on it. We'll go ahead and do it now, right? You know what? I didn't put the pin on my art glitter glue, and it's working fine now. Go figure. He gave up. Now, there is another idea that I... <laughs> is that another way of saying one more thing? That I'm thinking about adding this somehow in here. Don't you all think this will look cute? I don't think it would. The little jute twine oh, somewhere no, in like there? I already. <laughs> Bill, look, it doesn't matter whether you like it or not. What matters is if I like it. Oh, thank you, Robin Reminger. She says, I'm blessed to know y'all, Tracy, Bill, oh. and everyone in here. Thank wow. You. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Robin. So all I'm doing is making a quick little makeshift, but quick. <laughs> a quick little makeshift bow thingy here. Just kind of doing this. Right? So I'm going to add this somewhere on here. I'm not going to add it right now because <laughs> we got to get ready to get going. We got to graduate. I'm rush on the next one. We, we got a graduation party. I'm going to take my time. We're going to be so late. Oh, which one? Wherever the next thing is. The next who? Live? Mm -mm. After this. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's 7.30 until. So who knows what that means. It means we show up at 9 and leave at 9 for 10. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think? There. Or over there. I actually, uh, Ron says, did, did you make a grad card? I have some, I have one somewhere around here and I, I got to pull it out. <laughs> At some point, I got to pull it out. Okay. It's somewhere in the craft room, but I'm going to find it because I've done grad cards before. There. But, but what does that mean? What? Oh, you said hi there. Okay. Left. To Pamela Tabor says, Leffy, top corner. <laughs> I like reading comments. Tracy Martin have... says the first place you put it. Looks perfect. Linda says corner. Okay. Crystal oh. says the first. That means that corner there. Just one more thing, babe. And then I'm going to go get ready. Tracy, you said it one more time. If I say it one more time, what? <laughs> what, babe? What? Uh, <laughs> let's keep going. We know you're not gonna stop. Just... There you go. So our cute little envelope such and such folder gift card holder card is complete. Bill, aren't you excited? <laughs> Aren't you excited, darling? I'm so excited. That's what it looks like. I'm it's thrilled. just perfect. It's just perfect. Robin Renninger said at the, the bottom, where? this should have gone at the bottom. Lay it down. Right here. This should have gone here. 
she liked that. One more thing. <laughs> LOL. So the Stewart stop. So the Stewart is messing with me. <laughs> so remember, this paper actually does extremely well. I'm loving the way I can cut it up and use it in different ways. If you haven't gotten yours, y'all need to go ahead so you can add this to your stash. I highly recommend this paper, especially if you like that burlap texture. I'm thinking you can do all kinds of things with this. Um, for those of you that didn't see, I used it for this as well during one of the other lives, and I use it to make oops, use it to make this too. So you can make little embellishments and add it to your cards. You can cut it up however you want. I can add flowers to this square and then put little things on it and add to my card. So it's just up to you what you want to do with it. Just, just have fun with it, though. <laughs> Ron, he said he, he, he might get lasagna now. He's happy. He's a happy man right now, okay? Don't let him fool you. He likes when I'm on live for five hours. <laughs> Don't you, babe? So we're going to go ahead and sign off. I hope you enjoyed this live. It was so fun spending time with y'all. We missed you all. We're just trying to get our mojo back. And, um, <laughs> uh, you know what? I think Ariel probably did destroy that lasagna, didn't yes, you? Did. Yeah. So we better go ahead down and check. But, um, thanks. We're going to have fun at the party tonight. I got to go get ready. Bill has to go get ready. And y'all have a lovely evening and a wonderful Mother's Day to all of you. Thank you, Lisa. We appreciate all of you. Take care. Bye.